Okay, this I like. This I don't like any more. I can't see my yarn like I want to. So, changes are going to have to be made. I want my beads more spread it out. And my paints. So, that's going to come down. I'm going to rearrange everything. That's going to be moved. This is going to be moved. And I'm packing my dolls up. At least until I can get a proper curio to put them in. To display them. Because I still want to see them. But I want to see my yarn more right now. So we'll see what happens. I'm going to try to film this as I go. To wait and see what I film. How it turns out. Before I put the violets away, I have to undress them, put them in their storage sheets. It's all white, so there'll be no staining on the actual dolls. And their clothes left on the top shelf of my closet. So I gotta separate everything. So it'll be a while before I can get back to the shelf. I still don't know if I can utilize the white shelf. Um, I have to wait and see when I get all the yarn out of the wall here and see if I still need the shelf. If not, then Larry said that he'll take the shelf. I might have to switch some things around. But I'm going to have to get something accomplished because I'm going to need somewhere to sleep. So <laughs> this is going to be a long process. If I can get the dolls undressed today. Which is not going to be an easy thing. Because their clothes are like meticulously on them. They wear like human clothes. Uh, if I can get them undressed. And put in the storage bins that I got for them. Then I'll count myself lucky. Or blessed. Probably blessed. Okay I got the doll shelf cleared. And I just put... That yarn there, because that's what was in the closet on the other side of the house. But it's not staying there. I've been sewing lately. Hadn't done that in like years. Probably about four or five. So I think I'm going to put this shelf there and the shelf that's in the sewing area, aka Mel Kitty's room. This is where this shelf is going to go. That'll give me room to move my wall around. But right now, I am tired. I haven't did this much and I don't know when. The dolls are all put up and everything. Thank you, God. Whew, that was a task. Usually I do like three or four a day. And I did all of them in one day. So that's... That's fantastic. So I got a plan in my head, but I don't feel like moving yarn right now. So day one. Okay. 
had it in some kind of way. Okay. Now this was just yarn out of the shelf system over here. It ain't all of it. I still got to get from underneath and that order in the corner. But I got to cut all that loose because I tied it together. Now I got to take that wall down, unplug everything, and reconfigure the whole shebang. Gonna be a long evening. Cause I'm about to sleep somewhere. I don't think Larry want me to cut up next to him and man kitty. Here's how far I've gotten. Uh put all my crates on the bottom. Put my bins there. And my mama's needed somewhere to rest. And back over here in the back are my milk crates. I'm gonna get about three or four more of those. And I think I can get at least another bin in here. So I guess I'm going shopping tomorrow. But I hadn't started back putting the yarn in there yet. I need to tie everything to the wall. Because if that falls, it could kill me on Kitty. And it could injure me or injure Larry. So I got to make sure that's secure before I start putting the yarn in there. Because it would get the yarn in there, it would get heavy. And may fall I don't know but I'm gonna tack it down at least in four places in the back against the wall so wish me luck excuse the noise in the background well taking a little break cause my tootsies are tired but I almost got it at least I almost got the yarn in it. I thought I was gonna try to do it by color, but I had like a odd number of blue. I, I, I never know. Man, I had the blue, a bunch of blue. You no know, blue was one of my favorite colors. Oh, well, whatever it is, I got a bunch of it. Uh, about three more milk crates another bin should do it I left that on the back of the door so hmm. I'll be glad when I get my bed clear there's still stuff on, under the bed that I don't have anywhere to put so that's why I need to buy the additional things like a that have been in some more uh, milk crates. Well, at least I don't see my TV without the aid of the mirror. I got to worry it wouldn't stay in place no how. I need to reconfigure where I, things are so I can find somewhere to put a lamp. It's a little dark in here without it. Hmm. Um, that's too tall for George. He has to lay down now. Then what? Whatever the name is. Okay. I'm just about there. I'll worry about the colors matching this. Whatever. Some other time. Day three. 
a problem has arose. I had planned on getting at least one more of these bins. They let's see, where did I get them? I got them from Big Blocks. Well, they have a big turnover, so they no longer have them. So I don't know what I'm going to do. I was able to get some more milk crates. They had sold out of the black, so I got the green, the olive drab green. What? They're behind me somewhere. Anyway, I want to switch some things around. We'll move the milk crates here and that over there until I can figure out what to do with it. Hmm. I can't move this over any further because of the door stop. So it's kind of where it's at for until I decide to change again. But this little space right here, I don't know. Plus I need to um, find a spot to plug in my overhead uh, light because it's a little dark in here. And if it's dark, I can't see out of crochet, so I might have to come up with something. Might have to take everything apart and reconfigure it, but we'll see what happens. And here comes Meow Kitty. Meow Meow, say hey. Okay, that's pretty close. And my little yamash. Oh, uh, might have to put my music away and put the llamas up there. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, now I got the zoomies. What are you doing? You got the zoomies? She just got through eating. Okay, day three, and I think I'm almost at an end. Except for a rug, and I got another chair to go in here. And a table. So I got everything up there. I need to get George down. Because that's just a new spot down there at the bottom. And Eloise, I'm waiting to find some gloves. I'm allergic to latex. So I got to get vinyl gloves. And that's pretty easy to find. I just hadn't gotten around to it yet. And that looks fine over there for right now. And the llamas end up going up tall. And my music is down up under my bed. Okay. Oops, excuse me. Um, if you hear a noise in the background, I'm doing my laundry. And I need to go do some work. I have a part-time job that I do here at the house. So I need to go tend to that. And look who woke up. Ma'am, ma'am. Yeah, okay. Uh dinner time yeah whatever she don't care as long as i feed her we have to feed her like in little in, in, uh, intervals because she can't eat too much at one time she'll throw it right back up she got a real sensitive digestive system but it's okay she cute so there's my new crochet area i had to tie that to the wall and i didn't put it back far enough but i'll Pop something down underneath them. Push it back, but I, I was worried about it falling. Cause the green are really flimsy. The black ones are good. I wonder they were all gone. Uh, the green, I can tell you right now, don't buy that. If you buy it from Walmart, don't buy the green. Or is that gray? Greenish gray. But whatever. But don't buy those. Buy the black ones. They're, they're sturdy. They're strong. Okay, day three. And I think I'm satisfied for now. Oh, I gotta open that box. See what I got. Alright. Well, thank you for coming along on this journey. And I'm gonna say this. I told Larry this morning. But I missed the cubby hole. I miss it. 
And he said, well, I knew when you was doing that that you was going to miss it because it was cool. He, he said he liked it. He said it was really neat that it was special and that he knew that I was going to miss it. I said, yeah, I miss it all right. I said, but I outgrew it. And I said, I knew I probably would. I said, and I did. Because I was starting to feel claustrophobic. And I never knew I had that sort of idiosyncrasy in my personality. But yeah, I was feeling closed in, so I had to get up out of there. So here we go. Now I'm going to go feed my cat. Toodles. Okay, and it's been probably a week or more since I finally finished putting my room the way I want it. So I still kept the banner because I said that's just too much ink to waste. So I kept it and I just put it on the door. And there's my new rug. There's Mary Kitty's rug. And her bed that she will not get into. There's the extra chair I brought in that have, I never get to sit in because she has owned it. It's, it's hers. Come on around. There's my cart. Okay. I can show my llama saw up, up there. There's my yarn wall. There's that. I'm thinking about putting a shelf in there and getting rid of all of that. There's my hooks. There's my needles. There's my swift, my new swift. I think the old one's up there somewhere. I just can't see it. There are some of my tripods. There's my other tripod. I had to fix it at 12 the other day. There are a couple of tripods. And there's my chair. Still missing a table. Hadn't found the right one that I wanted. Probably gonna have to go to a furniture store. But that's pretty much it. Here I'm gonna get out of here so she can go back to sleep. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of all of that and get a shelf over there. But I'm satisfied for now. Thank you for watching.